We have the Samsung Galaxy S10 here, and today I'm going to show you how to disable the dedicated Bixby button entirely. We're going to be doing this with a couple of ADB commands. So if you have not already installed ADB and Fastboot tools on your computer, you're going to need to do that in order to proceed with this tutorial. Now I have done similar tutorials to this in the past for other Samsung devices. I have mainly used the third party application BX Actions to disable Bixby. And you can still do that if you want. If you just want an easy third party application to, to exit Bixby anytime it's opened, then you can use BX Actions, and I will have a link to those previous tutorials in the full tutorial for this guide, which will be linked in the video description for anybody who's watching this on YouTube. Now, I've recently shown you how to make it to where the Bixby button will open up Google Assistant on a single press of the button. However, Bixby itself will continue to open if you do a double tap. So for those of you who do not want Bixby to open whenever you double press on that button and you don't want anything to happen at all whenever you press this dedicated hardware button, then I have an, a couple of ADB commands that you're going to want to do so first we need to simply connect the Samsung Galaxy S10 to our PC with a USB cable. Then we're going to need to enable developer mode so that we can en enable USB debugging mode. Now both of those steps are included in the full tutorial on my website. I'm not going to go through that process of how to do that because it's virtually the same for every device so again I just include links to that in the full tutorial be sure to check my website for that once you have that set up though then we can turn our attention to a command prompt in the same folder with our ADB and fastboot tools so that we can execute a couple of commands so as I mentioned we're going to need to open up a command prompt and we're going to need to have this command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Now whenever you run the ADB shell command, you're just going to type out ADB space shell and press enter. You're likely going to get a USB debugging mode prompt on your Galaxy S10, Galaxy S10e, or Galaxy S10 Plus. If this is the first time you are using ADB commands with the USB debugging mode, and you're just going to want to, and you're just going to want to allow access from this computer to your Samsung phone over USB. That's all we're doing here, and we're doing that so we can type out this command right here. The command is PM space uninstall space dash k space double dash user space zero space com dot samsung dot android dot bixby dot agent now all this is is it's doing an uninstall command for the main user which is you user zero and we're uninstalling this particular application but instead of typing out the application name we have to type out the application package name which is com.samsung.android.bixby.agent this is the application that opens whenever we tap or whenever we press or double press on the Bixby button. The Bixby agent is activated and it will either A 
open up your application or do your routine that you have set for a single press or it will open up the Bixby Voice application. Doesn't matter if it's set to a single press or double press, this command right here is going to disable all functions of that button. So all we have to do is press enter on the keyboard. You're going to see that success message. So just as I mentioned, after we have executed that specific command, the dedicated button right here is not going to do anything anymore. It's not going to open up Google Assistant if you have set it up for a single press. See, I'm pressing the button and nothing is happening. And it's not going to open up Bixby when we do a double press either. I can just keep on pressing it and nothing's going to happen after we have executed that command via ADB. Now this change will stay until you either A, perform a different command to reinstall it, which I will have included in the full tutorial on my website for those who are either experimenting with this feature or maybe in the future you want to add that add Bixby back for again using it to open up Google Assistant or anything else and that feature will also come back if you do a factory reset on the device because again we're not really uninstalling this application we're simply disabling it for the current user more or less it is still there, it's still taking up storage space in the system partition. But it is a way to prevent Bixby or anything else from opening whenever you press that Bixby button. I know a lot of people are not a, f are, um, not a fan of the dedicated button at all. No matter even if it's just to open up a third party application, they just do only want power and volume buttons so for those who do not want anything to happen whenever you press the dedicated Bixby button on the Galaxy S10 series now you only have to enter this ADB command for that to be disabled